Hello guys, so in this video I recreated Sebastian Vettel's famous overtake at Spa but here comes in a new series called Recreating Famous Overtakes. The rules are that I have to be in the same position, so in this case P2, at the same part of the track, which in this case is a Rouge. In this video I drove as Leclerc because Vettel is at Aston Martin this year. I have decided that the lap doesn't matter because then it removes the challenge and just takes forever. For example, if the overtake was on lap 50 and then I failed it, I would have to start all over again. This video took ages to make, so if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. Thanks, and enjoy the video. Five lights, and away we go. Into two. Minimize wheel spin. Into three. Right out. Short shift, even more. It's impossible to wear to not have a lock-up on the start in these cars. Oh, and Perez has taken P1, which is the biggest disaster of all time. We really need Russell to get that position back. A bit gonna run a bit wide there. But the rocket ship that is zero zero wings is coming in extremely clutch right now. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Yeah, so we're gonna need we really need Russell to overtake Perez. Or we need to overtake both of them and then hand Russell back. Okay, surely Russell into this corner. Come on, George. Yeah. Come on, surely. I know Checo's going back at him. I'm having, I'm having an awful sector. Okay, Russell just has to get past. And he's refusing to do it. He's a silly git. So we've got a good run on Russell and Perez. We're going to go around the outside of Russell. Chance opens up. We are very early on the brakes. Russell challenges Perez. We're going to get a good run into turn one. George Russell does have the lead, but he's going to have the inside line into this corner. This is the best AI battle I think I've ever watched. But it looks like Russell is in front. We're now we're going to need a very good run on Checo Perez. We are going to go into this corner, and we don't want to be ahead of Russell, so we're going to let Russell through. But we're going to somehow... What the hell? Does Russell have an issue? What's wrong with Russell's car? Russell has an issue. This is such a joke. He's out. Our only hope is out. So we now have to try and squeeze Lewis Hamilton up into P2 from P4. Because of how silly this is. We're going to try here and push Perez wide a little bit. It hasn't worked because now Perez has a good run on us. We have managed to squeeze him there. And that should put Lewis Hamilton up into second place. That is the most incredible thing that we could possibly hope for. Okay, we've got, we've got Hamilton. We're going to try just let Hamilton through. But Verstappen will go for the send on Hamilton. Hamilton does manage to keep him at bay. We're going to try to send it on Max Verstappen. We've pushed him a bit wide there, but that's exactly what we had to do. Because now Lewis Hamilton leads this race. Hamilton may be pitting on lap four. So this is going to be a tricky challenge considering on different strategies. So we're going to have to catch him, hopefully, by this time next lap. Otherwise, this overtake is going to be very difficult for us to, to pull off. We go into the break very early into bus stop chicane. But we managed to keep ourselves composed in gear three. A lot of oversteer on the exit there. That could have come. I think that's ruined the entire thing. We are now much further away from Hamilton than we need to be. We're only seven tenths back. With all max ERS usage going in to Eau Rouge. Here comes Sebastian Vettel. He's neck and neck with Lewis Hamilton. Does that count? Does that count? If Hamilton doesn't box this lap, I'll try to do it one more time. But I, I'll have to like intentionally let him through. But there's a high chance he'll box this lap, so I'm not going to lose time. There we go. I think this could be it. We have a very good run on Lewis Hamilton. But here comes Sebastian Vettel. 
Alright, I think I think we've, we've done it twice now. I think that's all we needed. I think I think now we just gotta get on, crack on, win the race. A lot of curb there. Hamilton's gonna try a jab back at us. We've left him a big gap with that lockup. I'm leaving him plenty of room on the inside. How through goes Hamilton. And we are now in back into P2. There we go. We've got a superb run on him. We're going to have to lift here. Because this is not an overtaking corner. But our run is good enough. And we will carry that onto the outside of the bus stop chicane. He's completely blocked off the... Oh, he's into the pits. It's now going to be a very lonely race for us. Considering we are boxing far later. But I'm not going to box for the hards. Because that just seems like a very silly idea. Come into the box. Going to hope for an optimal turn in. The pit, this is my least favourite pit exit in all of F1. So I'm slightly dreading that. Max Verstappen has somehow got the lead. I have no idea how that's happened. He must have massively undercut Hamilton and all those people. Because Hamilton did stay out. There we are though. He's less than a second in front and we are now on softs. Which should hopefully warm up fairly quickly. But they will be cold for these next couple of corners. We are seven tenths back with the extra grip of the softs. It's looking like the overtake, but it is not a here comes Sebastian Vettel. Sadly. What? What's Max done there? That, uh, this is a bit, that's a bit mental from Verstappen. Typical Max Verstappen driving right there, honestly. As we sweep to the left, it's looking like it will be in the bus stop chicane. Verstappen defends the inside. We then go for the outside. Verstappen locks up. We switch it back. And that is P1. And now we sh we're going to go for faster slap. That was faster slap. With no green, with one green sector and no purple sectors. That was beautiful. You've done a George Russell there. Except we didn't even have green. We must have been like one tenth down in the top two and this is a very good final sector. Oh, well, I doubt we can beat that lap this time. So it is what it is. We have had our ERS for much longer down this straight. Although it's still red and we have missed it apex there. Although we've got a good run down into this corner with a very strong exit. If we don't look up at this corner, oh, we have not. The lap attempt now is even more alive than it was the previous lap. Considering how much stronger this middle sector looks from our view. I mean, the time sheet doesn't lie, so we'll see. As we finish this sector. It seems very strong. From my point of view. It is. You head for the final time into the bus stop chicane. Down into three. No lock ups. And we apply the power. It's a race to the line. But that is another fastest lap by one tenth. The question is, did anyone beat that lap attempt at the end there? It was a 147.4, so we'll see. Anyway, when this video comes out, we'll probably have 400 subscribers, so subscribe, please. Road to 500 subscribers. We did have fastest lap by a fair margin. I certainly didn't have any complaints with Kevin Magnussen's performance today. Incredible driving. 
Alright, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you, see you next time.